Hi everyone, it's uh, Sharif here. Um, so uh, basically I'm doing this video today uh, because I got a few requests to ask me how to download Blue Link, how to register Blue Link, when do I get the code, what should I do if I did not get the code, what can Blue Link do to me, how can it help me? Uh, are there restrictions on what can Blue Link do? So I'm gonna do a video, um, kind of you know highlighting few few things here. Okay. So let me first start with how to download Blue Link. This is Sharif here. Um, I do a lot of uh, you know videos on how, what how to uh, top features in certain vehicles. So I'm open to a lot of to a lot of requests from from clients, and that's what I started to post on um, Steel Hyundai. Uh, channel and my channel should read the value adding so let's get to work here the blue link how to download the blue link um, so you go in your app store uh, whether you have an Apple or if you have a, a Play Store an Android you search blue link wonderful search blue link okay Sharif which one should I choose the first one blue link Canada right it says open because I already downloaded the application so you'd hit install and then you download your application so that's the first step to download it second step um, when you get to blue link it's gonna ask you user ID password obviously you don't have one right so what you need to do is you need to go at the bottom right hand side new user bottom right when you click user new user to that's the registration how to register it or you know what should i do so you enter your vin number first you enter the nickname of the vehicle that you want to use sometimes it's going to ask you for the address as well and then the last thing you see is recommend uh, recommended the registration code okay sharif how do i get the registration code well in 24 to 72 hours hyundai canada uh, you should receive that via email and uh, if you did not receive that code uh, or you had any issues, uh, you can uh, contact uh, Hyundai uh, Blue Link, right? Uh, and basically, the, I will include the phone number in my... Um, in my description for blue link okay just in case if you had questions um so it shows at the bottom left to english or french um so yeah that's how to get the code registration uh for the blue link so i'm just gonna hit quit for now uh i am gonna go to the demo mode just to kind of show you guys the layout how it kind of look like um and I believe Blue Link is for the three years or 60,000. And then you renew the subscription after that. I think it's $10 a month or something like that. I could be mistaken, but I will double check this information. Uh, so when I click the demo mode, you see two vehicles. Um, you see an Elantra 2018 gasoline. You see a Kona EV. Uh, a Kona EV will have different setup, um, different parameters. Uh, compared to the Elantra GT. So I'll go with the Elantra GT 2018 because it's a gasoline car. So I just want to kind of show you, give an idea on the layout, how it looks. So on the top left hand side, you got the menu button. Uh, from the menu button, you got the home. So home, it takes you right to the, it shows you the, you know, how your car look like, or it shows you uh, the vehicle health, the remote service, and the find my vehicle. So let's, uh, I'm, I'm just clicking home again. I'll go over through everyone briefly here. Um, so uh, I want to first start by showing you at the bottom of the of the screen. It shows you the vehicle, make and model, the year, the VIN number, and it will be showing the VIN number when you have the actual car there and the odometers. Right? It tracks your odometers, which is pretty good because this can definitely help you track your when is your next service. Usually, the service is every six thousand kilometers, right, or six months. All right, so let's start with the left side here, the vehicle health. So the vehicle health, um, all systems are normal right now. So if there's anything wrong, it will tell you uh, what is wrong uh, or what needs to be looked into. At the bottom, it shows you your preferred dealer. Um, so the preferred dealer, uh, obviously, he can change it from there. You can call the preferred dealer or change that. Monthly report. So the monthly health report, if you guys see what I clicked, a monthly health report. Um, it shows you two things diagnosis and driving information so the driving information uh, shows you number of engine starts how many times you started your engine from the app uh, total engine on time um, while driving and then total distance traveled uh, and then the tire pressure right uh, like it shows here uh, and then you can always change the report date you can compare the report to last month's report if you like to do so um, you can have the report every 20th of the day of the month. So at the bottom, like it shows. So that's that's find helpful, right? 
diagnostic so it shows airbags fine transmission control system so it gives you kind of an overall picture on uh, the status uh, of the systems of your car so that all looks fine you see the green light here with a mark on it so that looks okay all right perfect so i'll go back to the home page guys and then i'll go to under so vehicle health we already went through that all right lovely i'll go to remote service so the remote service when you go there it shows you uh, five different things with the start engine start push button in the middle so to start stop the engine you start you click on the engine start button okay and you hold that for a few seconds the car need to be locked before in order for that to work so you can do that at the comfort of your home some client asked me oh sure can i do that while i'm sitting in having a coffee and it's uh, you know it's it's cold out. Can I start the engine from the coffee shop? Well, it's about a thousand, um, a thousand, uh, a thousand meters, like the space-wise, that you can how far you can be from the car. So that kind of gives you enough space, um, enough distance. Sorry, between the phone and the car to turn on, turn off the car from it. You can unlock the car uh, as well from the app. So you need to put your PIN number, and then it's gonna unlock, or you can lock it as it shows the lock uh, button there horn and lights if you want to go over through your horn and lights because it's a demo mode it won't go in and show me um your lights and then your engine start cancel so you can cancel the engine start and then you can also do a timing uh, on, on on how long you want your engine to be on for right through the engine start button okay so that's the um the remote services uh, so engine start settings, uh, this kind of shows you basically uh, in fall, winter, and hot summer. Um, so fall, this is to adjust the timing, right? This is from where you can adjust the timing. Um, so that way, engine start settings, this is how you adjust the time from, how long you want your engine to be on for, and then do you want your... Um, heated steering wheel to be on right you cannot control the heated seats actually sorry you cannot control the heated seats or heated steering wheel from the app right um so it uh, it just shows you here basically like i said the under fall the left where you see like a circle uh with like an, an arrow in it basically this is the timer how long you want the vehicle to be on for uh 